Hey friends, let's discuss here the application of IR test. So IR test installation test is, is done mainly during installation phase when you are installing a new equipment or uh, when the equipment is installed, it is also done on uh, for the maintenance purposes. Solution of equipment is tested periodically. So let's discuss with the installation test. The most important reason for testing uh, solution is to ensure public and personal safety. By performing a high DC voltage test between de-energized current carrying hot grounded and grounded conductors, you can eliminate the possibility of having a life threatening short circuit or short to ground. So when you have you are doing the installation, you are uh, uh, connecting and installing equipment first time. It's always required to test the equipment. Uh, you have to IR it, and so you have to test the solution resistance uh, and the insulation might be damaged during transportation or it might be damaged in manufacturing so it's kind of yes or no test because uh, normally there is no history uh, if uh, insulation if the, for example equipment is uh, under stored for longer time um, in, uh, in certain places number uh, for certain number of years for example if you're buying equipment which is stored for four five to five years then you you will be interested to know that uh, how much was the factory results and how much insulation is reduced when it's kept uh, under store conditions so this might be your uh, reason for uh, uh, doing this testing would be so normally insertion test is kind of yes or no test if the equipment is grounded the IR test will not withstand and if uh, IR is withstand, there is a uh, uh, sufficient amount of uh, mega ohms or insulation level, which is, for example, defined by a manufacturer, is there or is achieved, then everything is okay. So, second testing is maintenance testing. The second most important uh, reason for solution testing is to protect and prolong the life of electrical system and mo motors over the years. Electrical systems are exposed to environment factors such as dirt, grease, temperature, stress, vibration. These conditions can lead to insulation failure resulting in loss of uh, production or even fires. Periodic maintenance tests can pro provide valuable information about the state of deterioration will help in predicting possible failure of the system. So during maintenance testing, we are more keen to know about the healthiness of insulation as compared to last year. So if, if it is decaying at a certain rate and we know that what is the minimum uh, allowable insulation level of that specific equipment for its safe operation before reaching this, we can plan as per the curve that this equipment will be fail after 5 years or 3 years or 10 years. We can allocate the budget we can uh, plan the shutdown to replace it so this is uh, really useful for the maintenance also thank you very much